Have you ever tried to use alpha mats and ended up with a whole bunch of layers and a messy composition? The set matte effect can make alpha masking easier while keeping your project tidier. This video will attempt to make people aware of this useful effect and help those of you who are having trouble with it. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Quick Tips. In the traditional track matte method, because the matte only affects the layer above it, you can end up having to create lots of matte layers. You could argue that you could just pre-comp these layers and then apply a matte to the pre-comp, but pre-comps can cause their own problems and you don't always want to use them. Instead, you can simply add the set matte effect to the layers you want to be affected by the matte and target one single matte layer. Here we have examples of the set matte effect used on four different types of layers. We have an illustrator layer, a Photoshop layer, a native After Effects shape layer, and a PNG image layer. The set matte effect treats each of these types of layers slightly differently, which I think is why some people get confused or annoyed with this effect, so I'm just going to run through each one. I've created a matte layer which slowly animates off screen and applied the set matte effect to each of these layers. Before we start, you must set your matte layer to continuously rasterize in the layers panel. Without this, the set matte effect will not work. Let's look at the native shape layer first. All you have to do is add the set matte effect and from the drop down, select your matte layer. Job done. For the illustrator layer, the process is the same, but you have to make sure that continuously rasterize is checked for this illustrator layer as well as the matte layer. Photoshop and PNG layers require an extra step. You apply the effect as we did previously, but because Photoshop and PNG layers don't have the option for continuously rasterize, you need to pre-comp them and then continuously rasterize that pre-comp. If you don't do this, the result will look wrong. But the key thing with all these examples is we only have one matte layer, which all of these layers reference. This matte layer doesn't have to be directly above or below the layer it's affecting, which is why it's better in my opinion than using an alpha track matte, as it promotes reuse and keeps your project tidier and more understandable. I hope this quick tip was useful guys, let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, like the video and hit the bell for notifications of new uploads. And as always, see you on the flippity flop.